How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be going over how we can create some very nice animations in SwiftUI and this is actually one of my favorite features of SwiftUI is how simple they made it to make very nice animations with just a simple line of code. So to demonstrate what we'll be building today we have a rectangle here and we actually have a toggle at the bottom and a button at the top and they both do the same thing essentially but let's start with the one at the bottom that says show and hide if we click on it, you'll notice we'll get this very nice animation effect each time we toggle it. So they will all move in different directions. One will move in a direction, one will fade in, one will scale in, and one will slide in. Plus the rectangle itself will move up and down. But we can also animate the rectangle in a different way. So that's why I implemented also a slow motion button. So if we tap on the slow motion button, you'll notice everything's going to move a bit slower and that the rectangle is also going to move 90 degrees to the right each time we click on the slow motion button. So if you find that interesting, let's go ahead and get started immediately in Xcode. So we're going to hold down Shift Command plus N to create a new project. We will click on App and we will specify a project name such as Animate Me baby and we will pick SwiftUI as the interface and Swift as the language and click on Next. Then specify a project location and click on create. Now I will minimize these sidebars and change it to an iPhone 13 before I forget and resume the preview. Now the first thing we should do is create two add state variables. So the first one is going to be add state private var is showing and this will be used for both of the toggles and it will be set to false initially followed by add state private var angle degrees so we can control it programmatically and that will equal a double of 0.0, .0. now inside the body we can go ahead and create a v stack and i want the v stack to have a padding and inside the v stack we can get started by creating the first toggle because i'm going to be showing you two different ways to animate and they will both be using an animation modifier but I'll be showing you that you can use this both on binding values and on just normal values as well. So the first thing we will do is create two spaces like that because inside here I want all the content to be centered and I want both of the buttons and the toggles to be either at the top or at the bottom. But we will get started with the toggle. So down here we will type in toggle and it will say show slash hide so the user knows what it does is on is going to be of a binding value which will be connected to is showing now for binding values it's actually very simple if we want to animate a binding value all we have to do is call dot animation and provide the animation that we want to animate by default it's just going to fade otherwise we can go ahead and specify ease in ease out and specify a duration such as 0.5 seconds and I enjoy this more because I always love having more control over what's happening in the app but right now we don't really have anything to animate but whatever is going to be connected to this value over here is going to undergo the animation change as soon as we toggle the switch so here we're going to go ahead and create a statement called if is showing and inside there we'll type in text and the first animation I want to show you is the dot move animation. So I move in a direction. So here we just go ahead and type in transition. And as a transition, we type in dot move. And it's going to ask us what kind of edge do we want to use. And we can pick any of these ones. We can go from leading, top, bottom, or trailing. I'm going to go from the top. So now if we go ahead and run the program, we will have this toggle and when we click on it, we'll get the animation of it moving in a direction. And you might be asking, why didn't you just use it in the preview window? And just to demonstrate, we'll go ahead and try it here as well. The problem with the live preview is that it does not show us the intro animation. And that bothers me a lot because it's not accurate on what the user is going to see on the device. So that's why in this case, it's very important we preview the animations on the actual emulator. Now let's go ahead and create a fade animation. So here we'll just type in text, I fade in. 
and this one is just the default animation when we use the dot animation so we don't have to specify anything otherwise we have text i scale in and we just need to append the dot transition and inside here we type in dot scale so this one will just show the text going from small to big and from big to small then one more, we can go ahead and type in text, I slide in. And this will take a transition, which will be dot slide. So now we have four different animations. And when we go ahead and run this program, you'll see the text will do all of the following effects as I showed you earlier. And they will move in, move out, fade in, fade out, and so on. And you can change the time of that just by changing the duration. Maybe we want it to be much slower, so we'll just type in duration 2. Now when we tap on it, it's going to do it very slowly. But let's go ahead and add the rectangle from earlier. So we'll type in rectangle and we're going to rotate it. So we need to specify a dot rotation modifier. And this is going to take an angle dot degrees and the degrees is going to be the angle degrees followed by a frame of a width of 200 and a height of 200. And also we want a foreground color of dot blue. So now this rectangle is going to be animated with the values over here. If they appear in or appear out, they're going to slowly push the rectangle in a direction. But let's also implement the feature where it rotates because that's really cool. So above the spacer right here, we can go ahead and implement a button. And the button is going to just say slow motion. So as you can see here, we don't really have the option to add the dot animation modifier. That's where we have the function with animation that comes in. And it's incredibly easy to use. It's exactly the same as the dot animation. All we have to do is type in is in is out, or we can also specify other ones such as linear, whatever suits you best, and specify a duration, which we will set to three seconds this time. So it's going to be super slow. We also need to go ahead and toggle the is showing. So is showing dot toggle. So with animation is going to just animate everything that's inside here. Oi. So with animation is just going to animate everything that's happening inside here. So if we want to animate the angle degrees, we just have to say plus equals 90. And it's going to create a gradual increase to 90 degrees each time we hit the toggle. But with all this code, we can go ahead and run the program and we should see a rectangle that turns 90 degrees super slowly as soon as we click on the slow motion button. Perfect. And it looks really, really nice. You can do so much with this. You can make intro screens, you can make advanced effects for your app. And it was just so easy to implement. And I absolutely love this about SwiftUI. But anyways, guys, I hope this tutorial helped. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.